Okay, so let me share my screen one second. Okay, so mock question number eight. Are this one? Yeah, is that last option also correct? Yeah, it is given in the answer. <clears throat> e. Okay, okay. So some uh, E dot is mentioned. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, this is also a typo. So the option number is added actually in the value. Okay, so you can ignore this e dot part. Yeah, even if you ignore the e, e, e dot, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I uh, the first two I understood. The last option I didn't. I didn't understand how it's uh, coming. Okay, okay, okay. So let me. Uh, okay, so here expression is given. So this question we can solve uh, by the option. Uh, so here one condition is given by the with the end symbol. Okay, so that means uh, what is asking for which of the following integer value of x and y the given code is going to print zero. So that means uh, this uh, for which input this condition should be uh, false. Okay, so false. Now if we give x equal to fifteen and y equal to five. So first condition is true, okay. Hmm. And second condition, if we check, so fifteen divided by five, so this value is three equal to equal to two. So this is not true. So this condition is not true. And second condition, if we check, ten uh, is greater than five, yes. And ten divided by five, so two. Ah, uh, this is true. So second option is correct. Now x equal to five and y. Equal to ten, so x is greater than y. No, so first condition is false. No need to check the second condition. Compiler also ignore the second condition if first condition is false. So here uh, this condition is uh, not correct. Next one is twenty, uh, comma uh, y equal to ten. Okay. Okay, so x is greater than y. Twenty. Yeah, this is true, and this is also true. Twenty divided by ten. This is also true. Okay, so you are asking this third last condition. Ten. Okay, so ten is greater than. Ha. Huh. So ten. This first condition is true. Equal. Uh, both values are equal. But and uh, x divided by y. Ah. Uh, okay. So here this should be one equal to equal to two. And this is not true. So oh. And we are asking the okay, okay, got it. So we are asking the input which is providing the false output. Okay, so uh, I marked incorrect. So, sorry. so this first is true, and second is not correct. Third one is uh, true. Fourth is not correct. Yeah, fifth one is uh, returning false. No, so it will return zero. Second condition is not true. Okay, so this is true. We are checking uh, in which case uh, this output will be zero. That means false for this condition. So this last option, this uh, third and the first, are returning false. Uh, other two are returning true. Is it clear? Yes, it's clear. It's clear. Okay. Yeah. Any other question uh, in uh, mock? All of you have checked the mock questions, so a question paper will also be a similar type of this. So try to solve this, or any weak topic. 
yeah we will also share the on the google space and otherwise uh, maybe uh, you will get some announcement okay okay uh, can you tell me uh, if possible can you tell me the tentative timings for that uh, for the session timing is uh, right now this is scheduled uh, at 8 uh, on friday okay 8 okay. pm okay, okay. but uh, there is a chance to shift uh, from 9 Okay, yeah, I think nine would be better because uh, we also have AI session from seven that might not end that day. Okay, so that is the another reason. Otherwise, we are also starting this timed mock. Now you will also we the will give this exam timed mock weekly timed mock. Oh yes, okay. Okay, so that timing is also seven to nine p.m. Uh, Friday, Saturday, and this week uh, Monday. From next week, uh, that will be Sunday. Yeah, so let's have the live session from nine p.m. onwards. Hmm. So we are uh, just thinking, and we will maybe we will change that from nine. Or in the morning as well, if if that is possible, morning hmm. or afternoon. Morning is not possible, I think, on Friday. Uh, but evening uh, from nine, I think that this is fine. So everyone okay. can join at that time. Uh, quiz one is uh, up to week four material only, right? Uh, yes, sir. Till week four. Okay, so have you watched the week five content? Uh, not yet, no. Okay, so in week five uh, we are learning this function, recursion, and uh, scope. So this is little bit uh, dif different from the Python. Okay, so here uh, some uh, things are different. from python like we cannot pass default parameter and we cannot return more than one value and uh, here pointer concept is there so we can use the pointer if we want to return more than uh, not return if we want to get some more than one value from the function so we can use the pointer and we can pass some array and then we can store the result on the on the pointer then we can access <coughs> so some pointer will be discussed in week 6 Yes, a month. <coughs> yeah, uh, regarding the uh, regarding the lecture of uh, what is runtime, hmm. uh, will we dive more deep into how stack frames are created uh, and how is memory allocated? How the stack frame is created? Uh, so that part. Uh, because that part is not clear. Like. Uh, For different functions, the stack frames are created. Yes. So, how does uh, during execution the CPU tracks like which part of memory to read from? Okay, so this is the allocation. So, uh, some memory is allocated, and at that time, uh, some everything is recorded uh, in some place. So, some address is uh, predefined. Uh, if any stack is allocated, then some address is uh, allocated to the compiler. Uh, to the processor or this thing and everything is recorded in some memory place during the program so internal things is actually related to the operating system so here actually everything is handled by the compiler so how things is happening when any function is created so function will uh, use some stack to store some information related to the function and call everything yeah fnan Uh, yes, good evening. Uh, am I audible? Yes, sir. So, evening. apart from this uh, conversion to hexadecimal and uh, binary, of course, are there uh, any other conversions that we need to be aware of uh, as regards quiz one? No, I think binary, octal, and hexadecimal is enough. Mm, okay, octal also, right? Hmm, octal also, you can do. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Ah, hmm. uh, yeah, Pithiv. Yeah, uh, I have a question from uh, quiz six, graded assignment four. Um, uh, question mm -hmm. six, GA form question six. 
G four. Question six. Yeah. This one. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I think uh, the second option hmm. uh, that is actually, I mean, that is incorrect. But uh, had it not been for that uh, semicolon after J plus plus, if if that semicolon were a comma, it would have worked. Uh, so that is my doubt. Why why do you have a comma there and why not a semicolon? Uh, where you are talking about option? Which option? Uh, option option b i mean uh, same goes for option c as well there is a comma mm -hmm. after the j plus plus so the difference between okay, the comma okay, and the semicolon okay, okay. in that place yeah yeah so uh, if we are using the semicolon no? so uh, in the second option yeah the second option so that means uh, this for loop is completed till here. So this print statement is coming inside the for loop. Okay. If we are okay. not putting, if we are not putting this semicolon and we are using comma, so this uh, last statement is also inside the for loop. Okay. So I uh, I used to think that we can only put like if we don't use braces, we can only put at least uh, I mean at max one statement. But uh, mm -hmm. it seems like we can use as many no, commas no, we as can, we want. Uh, yeah, we can use uh, uh, as many f as many as we, we want. Uh, so we can use only comma. We can use uh, separated by the comma. Okay, so you can use any okay. number of statement for the inside the for loop in single line statement by separated by comma. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, can you uh, if since you already have that open, can you please scroll down? Uh, I don't remember the exact question. I think can you like can you open the GA once again? Oh, yeah, this one. Uh, there was another question with a lot of nested ifs and else's. Uh, I don't remember the number. Okay. I think it was the last one. This is uh, the uh, time. This. this yeah, one? I'll, I'll, uh, not this one. There was a there was quite a few nested ifs and else ifs. I'll, I'll get back to you. I'll, I'll check it out. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Uh, zero. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, sir. Uh, please, you, can you please uh, come down to that question? The last one. Uh, that. Last one, sir. Uh, I mean, like the. This one? Um, uh, the one which is at the uh, the last question, basically, you know, in this, yeah. Question 10. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one. So uh, could you please, you know, walk through the approach to solve this? I mean, like, we were able to get the answer, but I just wanted to know how should one go about solving these kinds of. Uh... OK, so here we are dividing the number. OK, so I think you will right. reach uh, at in 10 or 11 step till 1. Right, so you, uh, how, how are we getting 11 then? I mean, like, that's the thing. Uh -huh. Question uh, is asking how many times while condition we checked. Actually, here we are asking while condition how many times uh, how many times while condition will be checked. Okay, so this is the main part of the question. So we are not uh, checking that how many times uh, we will enter inside the loop. We are checking that how many times while condition will be checked. Okay. Right, sir. Okay. So uh, then in that case, in, in I think ten. Uh, so when I when I take log base two, one. yeah. When I take log base two of this, you know, this yes. number, I get so, it. In uh, hmm. huh, so that ten is for uh, when we are entering inside the loop. When condition are true, right? Okay? But hmm. there is one more condition when this condition will become false. Okay, okay, I understand. So then, okay. then uh, we add one to whatever we get. Yes, so yes. What I did was to actually round that off. So I got, you know, log base two. I got ten point nine eight something something. So I round, hmm. rounded that off. I got eleven. So I thought that would be the answer, but apparently. That approach no, would be no, wrong. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. So here some uh, uh, greater value is given. So if we give 2024, so you will get the uh, exact 10 steps. But here right, we are given to right. 25. I understand. So in that case, I we need to take the decimal part of it. So if I want to go through a shortcut, like for this oh. particular question, can I do log base two and take the integer part of it and then add one to it yes. because we are asking yes, for yes. the condition. So that would work, right, sir? Yes, yes, correct. Okay, okay. Yeah, thank you. That's all. Hmm. Uh, do we have do while loops as part of our syllabus? Yeah, do while is also part of the syllabus. Uh, some uh, things are not discussed in the lecture, but uh, we discuss in the live sessions. Okay, so if a loop is discussed, so uh, you should also we go through the do while because this that is that is also comes under the loop. 
Uh, I presume if instead of a while loop here, if we had a do while loop, uh, I think we would have 10 runs, I think. Yes, then 10, then 10. Yeah, correct. Okay, at, at that time. Uh, the we... question... hmm. oh, sorry, sorry, please proceed. Yeah, so at that time, we first uh, perform some statement, then after that, we check the condition. Okay, so one right. uh, yeah one statement will execute uh, first time. So that at that time we are not checking the condition. After that we are checking. So one statement will reduce. Uh, sir, um, I, uh, the question I was referring to is number three and four. The the code block above that uh, for GA four. Could you uh, could you write down that code block using uh, like normal braces because uh, I'm I'm able yeah, to make one? that out. I mean, yeah, yeah. Okay. The, the else in the middle is what is confusing me most. Mm -hmm. so how we can write the equivalent uh, code for this, okay? Yeah, use, using like normally using braces or indentation. First thing, what we are asking for this question, uh, how many input com combination are possible for ABC? Okay. So yeah, this is the uh, question is different, but you are asking the equivalent uh, brackets code. Yeah, because I could not. Uh, so by looking at the code, I could not make out what it was doing. I, okay. I had actually I had to run it through a compiler. Ha, so I first line not, is like, okay. Understand the. Yeah, first line is okay. Yeah, so it's just two restatives. Hmm. Uh, uh, no, so this is the diff. first line. Yeah, this the. Okay, okay. Yeah, this fine. Line. The second line is if uh, a. Okay, so. If we are writing yeah. the same next statement in the same line, so that is actually inside the this if. So if uh, second is B, okay. Now the next statement, this one is inside the uh, e equal to e equal to one. Like okay. This, okay. After that, this else if this else if will come for this uh, nested one. Okay, though so if we are writing else if, so it will it will be considered as a so uh, the if statement is finished here when we are writing e equal to one. So just after that, when else if is started, so that else if will co be considered for the nested one. Okay, else if. So this else if is also within the top level if the first if. if. No, no, no. That for this, also... for this one. Yeah, yeah, but but I'm yes, saying the yes. whole thing is within the first if condition. If yes, a. yes, yes, correct. Okay. okay. Okay, and we are writing now e equal to two. Okay. Now next one is else. So this else will also be a uh, part of this else. Okay, okay. and okay, e it. equal to three. Okay. Now next one is uh, the else if. So here this uh, block is complete if else if and else. Okay, so this block is completed now. Now the above if will close. At that time this else if will come. Okay, so this else if for the above one. Okay, okay. Now I got okay, it. The, Actually the, the else one, in the middle was the problem. One equal to four. Yeah. And then else for this. Okay. Okay. Yeah, equal to five. Yes. Excuse me, sir. I have a question. Yeah. On this. May I ask, please? Yeah. Yes, yes. So, this else had it not been there in the middle. See, this was some kind of a hint for me because I saw that there is an else. So, I, I immediately knew that this would come, you know, uh, mm -hmm. for the for the, uh, for the the one which is inside of that. So, else if C e is equal to 2 and then we go to else. So, mm -hmm. that must be for the uh, immediately previous if yeah is, previous yeah correct. yeah and then we do else if again so i immediately know that since we have already done an else here mm -hmm. so doing else if after that uh, else is not possible so it must go to the yes. above above one but had yeah. it been the case that if, if that else would not have been there in between would there be any compiler error how do we distinguish then and there will be a, an ambiguity yeah right? definitely you will uh, get some error if you are not writing the complete so like if you uh, which mm -hmm. statement do you want to uh, remove like else e is equal to 3 that part if you remove that uh, this one uh, uh, yeah the one above that sir else e okay, is so equal that part to... yeah this one yeah yeah so at if... that time so you can write multiple else if no mm, so right. okay. yeah so else if else if then else so there is no else if or else part for the ever if then. Hmm. Okay. So the the topmost if will not have any any yes, else. Yes. 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so it'll it'll basically it'll continue from the immediately previous if whatever the we previous, are. Previous if the block is not coming. Yeah, I see. I see that that clarifies. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Okay. Any other question? Yeah, that uh, part actually uh, the internal representation, how things are happening. So that are more related to the operating system. So how operating system is handled when the any program is runs, how the memory is allocated. So that is totally depends on the operating system memory uh, management things. And also maybe uh, some memory management uh, part will be discussed uh, in this course in the last later weeks. So, sir, we have talked to the sir. So, sir said that some memory management topics will also be discussed. So, at that time, uh, maybe these things will be clear how the memory is managed. So, uh, I have a doubt here. I mean, it's a general mm -hmm. query. Yes. Uh, I remember for Java, uh, for the Java mm -hmm. course, in the later weeks, we were taught uh, how to build GUI apps. I think it was Swing. There was this uh, framework called Swing that we were taught. Uh, do we have anything similar for C like that helps us uh, build GUI? Mm, uh, apps? Uh, so I am not aware of that Java, which topic you are talking no, about. I'm, giving no. an, I'm just giving an analogy. I mean, uh, to the last two weeks of the Java course, uh, like it taught us how to build some basic GUI apps. Do we have something similar for C? Is it possible to build uh, GUI apps? Not GUI apps, but uh, uh, the different types of application we can develop using the file uh, things. Uh, that is actually a command based uh, application like okay so CLI apps not the yeah, CLI apps not the GUI yeah so that uh, things we can use uh, so any many project can be made uh, using this file many uh, file handling in the C and initially when the, this GUI apps not came uh, at the time this only the CLI app types of application works okay so that type of right, some right. Uh, smaller project maybe we'll discuss in the later week or uh, so okay lab is not uh, the part of your DS course so maybe sir will discuss some type of uh, small project during the lab for ES but, uh, you are not part of that Excuse me, sir. I have two questions. First is mm -hmm. that are we going to touch upon C also towards the end of this course, maybe some mm -hmm. portions of it? Um, I think no. Okay. But you can easily move to the C. I think you have right. if you have already know this class concept uh, in Java and Python also. Yeah. So you can easily move to the C because syntax is approximate, but some uh, things will be uh, new. C++ has multiple inheritance. Yes. So Java and Python, uh, some knowledge will be helpful when you move. To, and syntax definitely will be the same. Right. Sir. And the next question is that, are we going to have a session with the professor also? Like, is it planned or? Uh, professor session. Uh, yes, sir. OK. Then we have to ask to the Nitin sir. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Right okay. now, we haven't yeah. uh, discussed about this any session. Okay. Sure, sir. Sure, sure. Other course, uh, the professor are taking session. Yeah, uh, I mean, uh, for uh, not not for all the courses, but at least one or two sessions they come and attend. So, okay, I think in uh, this advanced algorithm, maybe Professor Nildara is taking the session. Yeah, the exceptions like uh, pri privacy and security, the PSOSM course, uh, only Professor PK is taking the whole live session. Okay, okay. Sorry. Also for AI, uh, Professor Deepak Khemani has been there since the past three weeks. Sorry, four weeks. Okay, okay. So we will also uh, talk to the uh, Professor Nitin and we'll check if he is available to take the session. I'll talk to the Arup. I sir. mean, we not talk. if mm -hmm. it's not regularly, at least maybe once or twice he can uh, come and meet us. If yes, possible. sure, sure, sure. I'll talk to the Arup sir and yeah. maybe he will talk to the Nitin sir. If he is available in any one or two session. Yes, yeah. Uh, uh, I have a doubt. It's not directly from the GA. Uh, mm -hmm. I think this was this was from a demonstration that Arupsa did in week two live session. Uh, I okay. put it in the chat box now. Actually, he was showing us how the increment operators work. Plus plus a a plus plus all of that. 
uh, he initialized uh, a uh, group 10. Okay, this is a pre increment uh, and post increment thing. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you if you uh, initialize a equal to 10 and run uh, printf uh, percentage d like uh, print all the three numbers in a single line a plus plus a a and a plus plus uh, the option the answer that comes out is 12 12 and 10. Uh, so my doubt was why not 12 11 10. Okay, so how you are printing uh, this statement? Uh, so printf printf percentage d percentage d percentage d comma okay, okay. Uh, plus plus a comma a comma a plus plus. It was it was there in week two live session. I asked like this came up uh, as the output. I asked Arup sir. He said he will get back to me later. But uh, okay, thanks, okay. Thanks. So here you. Uh, so I'm just uh, uh, walking through this code. Uh, so you are writing a equal to ten, and next line you are writing this three statement inside the print uh, statement. Correct. In the print test, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, in the same line. Yes, in the same line. So uh, three okay. parameters to the print test. I mean, uh, th there are three uh, integers that are getting printed. Okay, 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 got it. So, percent LD and percent LD and percent LD. In that way? So, Correct. you're Correct. saying yeah. plus, plus, A, A, and A plus, plus. Okay. Hmm. So, initially, A equal to 10. Uh, then, so this is the pre increment operation. Okay. And we are writing this a plus plus. So this value will be incremented first. Okay, one second. So a plus plus. A and this is a plus plus. Okay, so plus a. Uh, this is printing statement. This is the output uh, things. So, uh, no, uh, if maybe if you if you run it on a compiler, that will be better. Oh. Have you but checked? I, 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 I down back then. Sorry, sorry. Please proceed. Uh -huh. uh, have you checked uh, this on the compiler? Uh, yes, sir. Actually, this is uh, what Arup sir was showing us. So, in the session, so, he was demonstrating how this work, and I so asked why Arup it was coming uh, 12, 12, 10. Okay, so output is coming 12, 10, 12, 10 but you're saying yeah, that as, far, as far as I remember, it was 12, 12, 10. And my doubt was why it is not 12, 11, 10. Because A, uh, that A in the middle, that, that is coming out to be 12, 1 second. Let me check. And uh, Arupsa thought about it for some time and he told that he would get back to me on this. Hmm. Because I'm also just looking this first time. Yeah, since <laughs> since this might be the last live session for the, before the quiz, I thought I might as well raise it right now. Yeah. So you're saying that is. You can put a space or something so that. So first is plus plus a comma. Yeah, plus plus a comma a, a comma a plus comma plus. A plus plus. plus, plus. Okay. The output uh, was 12, 12, 10, if I remember correctly. Why this is showing warning? Uh, request modification and access to A. This is warning output is coming. Oh, output is coming level 11 and 11. Okay, he ran it in some other compiler. Well, is that the reason? I okay, don't okay, know, but uh, that go to the chat box once. I'll, I'll run it in the compiler that Arupsa ran it on. He was using the online GTB compiler. Okay. Online. Uh, I'll, I'll run it on that and I'll see. So the code is uh, similar, no? I think. 
No, I, I'm saying whatever you typed on Replicate, can you put that on the chat box? Or like, I don't have okay, to type okay, it. Okay. Okay, I, can, okay, I can just copy paste it on it. Mm -hmm. So I think this should be the uh, correct by the logic. Uh, so according to the logic, if we see that, uh, so this is pre-increment first thing, okay? So it is right, incrementing so the value uh, 11. So at the time it is updated the value of A, but uh, when we are checking the second value, so this is also updated now. So this is also 11 and this is post increment. So this will be used in the expression first, then it will be incremented. So here the operation is we are uh, printing something. So this, that value is printing first and after that it will be updated. So maybe uh, if we use this statement one more time, uh, suppose I check for the next line. Then we'll see what is the output. Okay, uh, uh, I will just print... send a message on the chat box. Can, can you check the chat box once? Sir? Uh -huh. So let me just check the only A. What is now A in the last? Uh -huh. So it is not 12. If you see. So last this uh, post increment is happening once uh, this statement is printed, then this post increment is happening on the A. So what message you have sent in the chat? Okay. Uh, so this is my and output. Oh, no, uh, the last message cost of sensor. Okay, okay. So different compiler is showing different output. Output is 12, 11, 10 in on volume compiler and 12, 12, 10 in NGW compiler. Okay. So yeah, if I if I remember correctly, it was 12, 12, 10 as well. So. Um, okay, so this, yeah, this is different on different compiler. Yeah, uh, I, so I, I just ran it on the program is compiler that is also showing 12, 12, 10. Which compiler means GW? Uh, no, uh, GCC. It's, like, it's an online compiler uh, program. Is I suppose it's GCC. Okay, okay. Okay, let me write it on GCC. I have GCC on my computer. Just give me a minute. Mm -hmm. 12, 12, 10. So I think there is handling like uh, that they are finishing uh, all the operation first, then they are printing the output. So they are completing this side expression completely, then they are printing the output. Yeah, GCC is giving 12, 12, 10 as well. Hmm. So what they are doing actually before printing this output operation. So this is the output operation actually. Before uh, printing the output operation, they are completing this expression part first. After that, they are uh, giving the value inside the for the output device. So at okay. that time when we complete this all expression, so this is pre-increment, it is updated the value and then this is a, this is post increment and after that it is just passing the variable value a value to the and uh you said that the last value is uh, 11. Oh. yeah it's no 12 12 10 last value is 10. Oh, 12 12 10. yeah <laughs> is it totally okay excuse also me. what is replit uh, does that mean replit is not using gcc i think so uh could you please uh, try changing the order of this maybe Okay. A plus plus then now ten, eleven, twelve. So here the value is printing. So it uh it is performing the operation first. So like this is the pre increment, then ten is printing, then it is uh post operation is performing post increment so it is become now 11 so 11 is printing then pre op, uh, increment is happening then 12 yeah so uh, this replit is handling by the uh, parameter value so first it is uh, first solving the first uh, parameter then passing to the value like this so this okay i have okay kostab sent another message right now he says if we print in print in different lines then our logic is okay 11 11 11 just send that on the chat box. We will meet. 
ओके इफ यू प्रिंट इन डिफरेंट लाइन देन आवर लॉजिक इज ओके ओके ऑल थ्री या दैट देन इट विल बी प्रिंट या करेक्टली बट हियर कंपाइलर दिस रेप्लिट इज आल्सो गिविंग द करेक्ट लॉजिकल आंसर बट आई डोंट नो व्हाई द दिस अनदर कंपाइलर इज प्रिंटिंग डिफरेंट so here a 10 value is there pre increment operation is there so this is printing first then 11 then 11 is coming by this then after that this post operation is performing so replicate compile is uh, simply working like a uh, normal logic of this pre increment and post increment so it is performing operation first uh, yeah here it is uh, first incrementing the value then performing the operation here this is simple and here this is taking the value first then performing the operation uh, increment so i am not sure about the other compiler like uh excuse me sir i just pasted a link in the chat box from stack overflow it is mentioning something regarding that actually could we see that once yeah mm -hmm. the following of today uh okay uh there is a answer to this actually uh if you come down uh, this one says that it is undefined behavior and okay is noted by other uh, and see this is actually undefined behavior and different compiler can order the operation differently okay i think back in week 1 or week 2 we were getting quite a few questions on this pre increment post increment on gs yeah in week 3 na yeah But I, I think uh, exactly. this is this behavior is only for the print statement. But in expression, I think uh, the behavior will be same. Okay. Okay. So can you check the behavior in uh, expression, the different compiler? Okay. I mean, uh, I only have GCC. Uh, the online compilers I tried also show the same output. I think uh, Replit is the only one that is varying here. I mean, all the other compilers I have tried have showed twelve, twelve, ten as the answer. Replit is the only one that's showing eleven, eleven, eleven. Okay. Post increment is already plus plus. Okay, we will check this in deep then. one thing is pending this that uh, float decimal part still we have to check what is happening okay okay yeah mm -hmm. yeah that one as well yeah. so for for the for ga3 uh, everyone will get marks right yeah for I, I uh, the... uh, in b3 ga2 and ga4 okay and uh, in b4 ga3 okay okay yeah i okay. saw the private test cases all my answers are very varying by one or two decimal points yes yes correct and uh, i think that uh, revaluation is not done yet uh, uh, revaluation only done for the uh, qualifier students not for the ds or es till now okay so that things will be updated okay and uh, some questions so in b4 uh, b4 any uh, not b4 that question is where Uh, in big three, okay. One more question: We are just uh, giving the evaluation now in big three, uh, like this one. So number seven, yeah. So uh, we have received some query regarding this uh, question. So here we are asking that what is the value of a if the output is three? Okay, so. This is simply input and output based question, and what is the value uh, value of a, and then what 
if the output is three but some student raised the query like uh, what uh, so they are considering that uh, a value after execution so after uh, completing the second expression what is the a value so okay. for this question we are giving the marks those who put three or four more okay, so by the problem statement maybe uh, they are confused regarding that uh, that a value is asked for the initial value or after the execution but uh, it was clarified in the Google space before the deadline uh, that it should be value before the the initial value. I think Arup sir clarified that, or I, you might you might have clarified it. Yes, uh, I don't know if someone did. But still, we are giving the benefits of the ambiguity. Okay. Okay. Good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so this week, uh, just remember this time walk things. Okay. So complete the all time walk assignments. Uh, for the eligibility of the OPP exam, okay. Do we have any concepts for pointer? I mean, uh, will pointers come in OPP? Do we have that for the first OPP? Yes, some question based on the pointers uh, may be asked. Not in the very difficult question. Okay, so at the place of variable, we just pass the address. So you can access all the value uh, using the pointer address. Then you can perform some basic operations. Okay, so in week six, you will see some questions based on the pointer. So how the programming questions are can be asked using the pointer. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, and and uh, this array and string will be discussed in week seven. Uh, and uh, struct, struct, uh, and this enum, and that type defined, user type defined. These things will be discussed in week eight. So right now, till week eight, we have the syllabus. Okay, okay. Okay. And in OPP exam, uh, you can assume uh, that the syllabus will be, I think, till week seven. So array and string will also be the part of. For the first OPP? Yeah, first OPP. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay, that will be hard then. Uh, yeah, B4, B4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so I think till uh, okay. 19th, uh, that week seven will also be complete. Will we get in a separate mock for OPP or all the time assignments will be like that? A mock means uh, we, we will release some questions as a mock. Okay, for the OPP okay. as well. Yes. And you can also just consider as this timed mock questions. This is also in the same manner. Okay, okay, got it. Hmm. Okay, anything else? Okay, so just join this revision session uh, on Friday. We will share the link uh, on the G space. Okay, so we will share on the G space as well as we will uh, send some announcement also for DSS student. Okay, thank you, sir. Anything else from anyone? Uh, no, no, not okay. from me. Okay, could okay. I raise this question on discourse? As a, as a separate thread. Uh, this, this one, uh, this thing. Okay, okay, okay. Sure. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. Because uh, some uh, ES students is also there, actually. We, we will uh, uh, post it on the forum, I think. Uh, not forum, G space. Okay. That will be fine. Okay. Otherwise, ES students are actually uh, very new in the programming, so maybe they will confuse. Okay, you are saying that they might get confused due to that. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Good night, everyone. Thanks. Bye. Good night. Uh, secondary tags means secondary tags are missing for programming C codes. Uh, who's asked? Uh, which secondary tags? Uh, the Goswami mentioned that. Uh, okay, so thank you, sir. Also, sir, secondary tags are missing for programming C codes. Not. Sure. What is Are you referring to something on discourse? No, no, no. I'm in chat. This meeting chat. Okay. Where is okay? So secondary tags are missing out for programming. I think cost them left. Yeah, cost them. Yeah. Maybe maybe we can we can ask him to clarify that on the G space. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. Okay, okay. Thanks. Bye. Uh, I think by Thank tags you. he refers to uh, he by tags he refers to discourse only. There might be some tags on. Oh, forum. Okay, just check. 
I think yeah. By second rate, maybe week one, week two, that sort of tags. Okay, oh, okay, okay. okay, we will check on the forum. Yeah, the, the optional tags for weeks, I think they're absent. Week week four, week five, those tags are not there. Okay, okay, I'll check this. I'll add if it's possible. Yeah. I think uh, you can just copy the uh, tags, whatever tags are there from other forums, uh, one of the other subject forums. That's First, I have to check. I have right uh, to add these tags or not. Uh, it, it is not there. It, uh, I checked it right now, sir. The graded, uh, except for the graded tags, uh, week, weekly tags are absent. Okay, okay. So then I'll talk to the JK. JK will add. Okay. okay. Good night, sir. Thanks for the okay, session. Good night. Thanks.